Hey everybody, welcome back. Jason with Vents Woodworking. And I just wanna let you know right now that this video is not a scheduled release. Uh, this is just something that I'm doing because I'm super excited about what is sitting in front of me. And I wanna share that with you guys. Most of you guys know that I like wearing a shop apron when I'm in my shop. You've probably seen the other shop apron that I have, uh, either wearing it around in the shop, over on Instagram. The aprons that I wear are from my friends Patrick and Michelle at Leather by Dragonfly, what was previously known as Dragonfly Woodworking and Leather. I've partnered with them to make a new apron, one that I find to be more suited to me and my shop. And I'm really excited because what's in this box is exactly that and it's finally here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up uh, and walk you guys through the steps. I'm gonna get everything set up and let you guys see a closer view of it. Cannot wait to open this up and see the finished piece in my own hands. All right. Moment of truth. The new logo, Leather by Dragonfly. Oh man. You know, when I see the pictures of these things uh, before they get shipped out, or even like my last one, I saw pictures of it on social media, it's a million times better once it actually shows up and you get to see it in person. Man. All right, I got all the plastic off, and now I'll go ahead and hold this up for you guys to see it. So the idea that I had, as you can tell, the stitching on it is the Festool Green. And I know that that's probably super shocking for a lot of you uh, that I decided to go with that, but it's something that was kind of an idea uh, after talking with Patrick one day, it just kind of started out as a joke. Uh, and then he has a black uh, apron with like the woodpecker red stitching. And I really, really liked it and it got me thinking and this was the end result. And I could not, could not be happier. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this on real quick. So let me get my microphone out. Put my microphone back into the pocket that I had specifically made uh, that would be able to hold my microphone right here. So the last time I put one of these things on, the last time I put mine on, as soon as it came out of the package, it was a perfect fit. And this is exactly the same. This thing is just awesome. I absolutely love the, the green and black stitching. I'll come over to that side so you guys can see a closer look. That green with the black. It looks awesome. So there was just a couple of changes uh, that I wanted to make. One, I took a little bit out. Stuff that I had in my apron that I just realized I wasn't really using all that much. But for the most part, about 85% is the same. I moved the location of my square, uh, my remote, and another little multi-tool that I have is gonna go down here just like they did on the last one. Um, basically what I did is I got rid of everything that was right here. Uh, and not that it was ever in the way, but the way that I'd be reaching into the pockets, it just didn't make a lot of sense uh, after I figured out the way that I work. So I did uh, something a little bit different and now I have a utility pocket, right? So I can put anything that I want inside of this pocket. And that was probably the biggest reason I made the change. And then this pocket right here is great for like if I have screws uh, using dominoes or whatever, I can throw that in that pocket and just work out of that pocket for that specific project. Uh, tape measures, whatever. I've got a tape measure clip here. I have a couple tape measures that I use. And then I really stepped it up with the amount of marking devices that I use. Uh, I wanted a little bit more option. And also, I've got to have a spot for my Inker Tiny T and a spot for my now uh, Polini ruler. And the way that the leather feels like, especially right when you get it. And I'm so glad that I did it. And for me in my shop, uh, everybody knows that I'm a huge festival fan. And now I've got an apron that's got that green stitching and it is it is just great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab all my stuff, I'm gonna throw it in there and then we're gonna call this video quits. Got all my stuff out, start throwing it in here. So I got my pocket rule. It goes right here in this pocket, go with a pencil. Uh, I've got my uh, regular color lead pica and then I've got my colored uh, pica with the sharpener 
that's gonna go right down there in the middle. And my Inker Tiny T, of course, you gotta have that there. And it's great too, because, so right here underneath the patch itself, there's a magnet. And that magnet actually does a really, really good job of holding that in place. So I've got my Tiny T, my square, going right down here in my square pocket. Uh, my remote, right down here in my remote pocket. Tape measure, one of them. My other tape measure right here, it's gonna go in this pocket. Got my Festool multi-tool, and that is going right down here in this pocket, and that's it. That's all I'm putting in it. Absolutely love it. Oh, almost forgot one important thing. Put my iPro, hang from these little rings right here, so that way it's always on there. Patrick and Michelle, again, thank you so much. I am so incredibly impressed uh, by the new apron. I just love it. And I cannot wait to put it to work tomorrow because I will be wearing it all day uh, working on another project. I'm going to leave a link to their website down in the description. Uh, I would definitely urge you guys to head over to their website, see the other items that they make. They do not just make custom leather aprons. They have some other really, really cool items. Holidays are right around the corner uh, and they have some great uh, items that you can give as gifts. And on top of all of that, they are fantastic people and have become very good friends. And they are really, really enjoyable to talk to. And if you want to find out more about the entire process, what goes into making this, you can check out the video on my last apron where it actually shows me go through the process of coming up with my idea, sitting in the uh, video conference, marking everything down, then getting it done, sending it back to me. And it was just, it's just a great, very, very cool experience. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I think I've rambled long enough. Uh, really hope you guys like the new shop apron. If not, I'm wearing it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's all I got. I'm going to go inside, go to bed, come back out here, get back to work tomorrow. See you guys all next time.